I'm here to teach y'all how to get started in Forex and how to maintain a healthy lifestyle. So you want to get involved in Forex, perfect, okay. So just to keep it simple with you, Forex is the buying and selling of currencies at a current or determined price because price fluctuates daily. Even right now it's fluctuating. So you got interest rates that are involved in uh, currency. So that's what's being traded in Forex. So Forex is pretty much shortened for foreign exchange. And it's the biggest market. It's a $5.3 trillion a day market, to keep it simple. And how to get involved in Forex, you need to, you know, first of all, be educated. Second, you need to find a mentor that's willing to guide you and help you and teach you how to trade the and Lastly, you need to, you know, practice on a demo account and find a brokerage because, you know, not all brokers are good for, you know, everybody's liking. Find a broker that's suited for you. What I'll do, I'll post my favorite brokers in the description box below so y'all could check them out, you know. But at the end of the day, Forex is a very liquid market. Anybody could do forex if they just sit down and discipline themselves. I'll be I'll be straight up honest with you guys, you know, straight up and honest and open about it because forex is not for people that are, you know, if you have attachment to money, if you're a greedy person, or if you are, let me see, if you are, if you're not patient, forex is not for you. You have to be a chess player when it comes to forex. You have to think long term, not just the now, because the long term, if you have a five year plan, if say, say, let me give you an example, two people, you have somebody that thinks of the now, all right, and you got somebody that thinks of their future. The person that's planning for their future versus the person that just lives in the moment, the person that is living for the future is the person that I'm betting on to be more successful because they they have a vision, they have goals, they want to meet them. The person that's just living for now, that's partying, spending their money on stupid shit, or the person that's, you know, just not being real with themselves and just living life because they just don't see value in what they're doing with their life. Those are the people that stay in a box and don't really go too many places in life. I don't want to be, you know, step on toes, but I want to be, you know, open about this because people need to understand that, you know, you got to learn how to plan for the future, not just for today, all right? Secondly, uh, you know, I want to just say your health is very important as well because, so, there's a lot of people that go day to day that work hours on end that don't take care of their body or they just don't see the need for it. I don't say you have to go to the gym. Just, you know, get out and do something healthy. Like, you know, go walk outside. Go enjoy the weather. It's beautiful out, you know. You go to a nature trail. Enjoy the the birds. Enjoy, you know, just enjoy outside, you know. Just, you know, get in shape somehow. Some shape or somehow. Always look for, because uh, everybody can't lift weights. So do what makes you enjoy you know, working out. Because me, I do boxing. I like lifting weights. And I like, you know, I just like being in shape for one. You know, if you start neglecting your health, your wealth, you know, is in jeopardy because you got to, you know, let's say this. Say your spine has been jacked up for a long time and you haven't taken care of it. What's going to happen to you is you're, say, like maybe five, years down the line you have your back is just so out of whack that you know it's just almost unfixable I'm not saying that it is unfixable it's, it's, it's almost unfixable you're gonna spend more money trying to f get your health back when at the time you knew that you you had a bad back and you had health problems and you didn't you didn't get rest you didn't go to the chiropractor you didn't do what was necessary to fix that you're not alleviating anything. What you're doing is you're building your problems more and more. And as time goes on, you're just jacking your body up, neglecting your body, and you, you have to pay for that eventually. So take care of your body like you take care of your home. 
if you do take care of your own, because some people have some trashy ass houses. <laughs> but no, I'm just saying, like, take care of yourself, you know, because, you know, life's too short, but make the most of it. Don't just live for now, live for the future. You know, like, have goals, set goals, smash your goals, do something with your life, like, progress. Because if you're not progressing, you're digressing. And if you're digressing, you're dying. So I just want to share that to the, with you guys today. You know, if y'all want to get started in the forest, I'm going to start posting some more uh, educational videos and, you know, being real with you guys. If you want a mentor or you want someone to help you along the way, hit me up. Uh, I'm here for you guys and let's go. Cloud life, baby. Picture me ballin', picture me with the fifth of Henny, something foreign Picture me riding around here with a banjo Picture me blinding with the tents on the window You could see by the